now welcome to campus. Um, what's Thank been you. the biggest trans what's been the biggest transition for you going from Wake Forest to Kansas State? Uh, for me, I feel like, um, you know, it wasn't too much of a, a super big transition other than, you know, being much further from home. But, you know, my teammates uh, and the coaching staff did a great job of bringing me along and, and helping me with the transition. But I wouldn't say nothing has been really, really too tough for real. Like, I, I love the campus. I love Manhattan. I love everything about Kansas State. So nothing has been too tough. How would you say um, you fit in with the roster so far? I know talking to you in the summer, you said you'd love to play some three and four, um, maybe even some two if they let you. Where, where, where are you slotted in right now mostly? Uh, right now, you know, like I said before, the, playing some three and some four. Um, but, you know, we have great guards with, you know, everyone that was here last year and coming back. And then we have great, great bigs. I feel like I fit in right in between there, in, in between that, that big wing, that combo forward area. So. What is it like playing uh, next to a guy like Davion inside? You know, he takes up so much space and he requires so much attention uh, just because he, he he's such a presence down there, whether it's rebounding, blocking shots, or just or dunking. And then also we got Casey, too. Um, both of them do a great job of just demanding uh, the defense's attention. So it makes my job a lot easier. Um, <clears throat> how excited are you to – be in a more versatile spot this uh, this season as opposed to last year when when you had to play some five. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm super excited. Like I said, you know, uh, having great guards like you know Nigel Pack, uh, Mike, Marquise, Mark Smith, um, Selling, and then having the bigs, it just makes my job that much easier. Where now I can you know, I can uh, help make their job easy as well because of my shooting ability and then my also ability to make plays and you know being able to guard multiple positions. So it's something that you know. I've been used to, but I got away from a little bit at Wake Forest, but being able to do that now again is something I'm really excited to do. And, and tell me about what it's like to be on the floor with, with Marquise again. I know you guys have played before in New York and everything. Does it, does it feel like old times having him as a te teammate in college? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy because, you know, I knew Marquise since probably like, uh, like 2015 and we were never like super, super close, but we always knew each other. We played with each other. We played against each other. And he actually sent me a picture of like, it was our sophomore year and it's him shooting. And if you look into the stands, I'm sitting right there in the stands watching him play. <laughs> so we live together now. So it's crazy. The things he's able to do on the court, making big shots, big plays for others. You know, Marquise is special and I love playing with him. What was that kind of a formality that you two would be roommates here? Yeah, it, 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 was, it was cool. It was cool. All right. Hey, good to hear it, Ishmael. Thank you. Hey, next uh, next question is Scott Fritchin. Hey, Ish, uh, good to talk to you today. Um, was uh, just curious about your path to K State. How how did you end up in Manhattan? Uh, you know, um, when I decided to uh, enter the transfer portal um, after my last year at Wake, you know, K State, uh, Coach Shane Southwell, and, and Coach Weber, and, and all the coaches were the first ones, one of the first schools to call me. And throughout the whole process, they were just consistent and basically just telling me like they want, they need someone like me and they really want me and I'm their guy. And, you know, that was something that I really appreciated how consistent they were throughout the whole process and how they were with me from the start to the finish. And, you know, having Shane, with Shane B from New York, that, that was major too as well, and having that connection with him. Did you have any prior relationship with Shane? I know that uh, Marquis said that he played uh, 2K in his room <laughs> a while back when he was younger. Had you known Shane for a little bit? No, I, I didn't have known Shane before I came to K-State. I, I knew people that knew him, but I didn't know him personally. Okay. Mm -hmm. and what, maybe you answered this, but what just what's the adjustment been like going from the Big Apple to the Little Apple? I mean, you know, it's, it's um obviously there's nothing like New York City, but you know, uh, I love Manhattan in the sense that it's it's kind of a, a small a small little city where you know you got the campus, you got the facilities and stuff, and then you got you know Aggieville. And there's a lot of a lot of food places around. And for me, you know, I just need a place to sleep, a place to hoop, and a place to eat. So I got little three things here. So um, I, I couldn't couldn't be happier. Growing up, did you play in the parks in the city? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's where I grew up. To me, you know. 
I didn't really know nothing about college basketball or anything like that. To me, the NBA and all of that stuff was was going to my going to the parks and hooping with the people from my neighborhood for the long. So you know, that's kind of where my game grew and where I really put in the most work is in the parks by where I used to live. Where were your favorite parks? Which ones were they? Uh, the park that, that that you know really made me who I was is you know I live on I used to live on the east side in the park uh, on 96th Street and, and Lexington, and that's the park I used to go in. Uh, every day I'll be there from sun up to sundown and I would just be there hooping all day. So uh, shout out to, to Lex Park. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Great to hear. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Uh, other questions for Ish? Oh, Grant Flanders. Hey, Ish. Um, I'm wondering, you know, you're a newcomer into this program and you've been in it now for a little bit. I'm, I'm wondering, has there been a learning curve for the defensive <laughs> philosophy of this team or have you uh, gotten a handle on it pretty quickly? I mean, of course, you know, coming from a different system and stuff like that, and, you know, having two different head coaches in my first two years in college is, is going to be definitely a learning curve. But, you know, I, I consider myself someone that's uh, able to pick up things pretty quickly. And, you know, having having teammates that were here last year and the coaching staff, they did a great job in the summer of bringing me along, whether it was watching film or, or just teaching me how they wanted me to play defense and, and you know, how, how the offense works and stuff like that. So being here in the summer and in the fall and the preseason, you know, has helped me a lot. And I feel like I'm pretty up to speed on everything right now. And then offensively, how comfortable do you feel, you know, um, with all these guards and, you know, you, you playing off the ball? Um, how comfortable do you feel with guys like Marquise Noel, Nigel Pack, um, and your ability to just shoot behind the arc, like how important is it going to be for you to get open and, and you use these plays to set you up? I mean, you know, the, the coaching staff, you know, they have a great system in play and, and you know, great play calls where, you know, I, I get I get easy looks and the guards make it super easy for me where it's like I don't even have to have to think about, you know, trying to create for myself that much unless it's the end of the shot clock or something. And then you know, at the same time, I make I make their job super easy because of my shooting ability, whether I'm setting the screen for them. Now, the defenders got to decide if they're going to switch, they're going to stay with the guard, they're going to come to me. And then having bigs down low, like Davion and Casey, you know, it, it also just all, all around the way the system is in place, it just makes everyone's job easy on each other. And it's just super smooth. Obviously, everyone that can shoot threes likes to shoot threes, but I'm, I'm curious how important is the mid-range game going to be to you, you know, at K-State? You know, for me, uh, like you said, um, I'm someone that, you know, is known for being able to shoot threes, but I feel like my my offensive game is is much more uh, versatile. And, like this year, I'm going to be able to show that because, you know, people on the scout report are going to be flying at me. So being able to uh, get to my spots and, you know, whether it's making the extra pass or, or feeding the post or, you, like you said, getting to my mid-range is something that, that should be my bread and butter. Thanks, Ish. Welcome. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks, Grant. Um, other questions for Ish? Ish, I have a couple questions just from your background, just uh, uh, briefly. What, uh, I guess, what age did you find basketball? What was, uh, you know, is it, uh, obviously your mom played at Houston, played professionally mm -hmm. overseas. Is that where you got the basketball bug or was there other influences? It's funny because my mom wasn't even the one that, that introduced me to basketball. So I used to skateboard for the longest. And then uh, when I was about 10, 11 years old, uh, I seen everybody playing basketball and, you know, I was told, I was like, let me start this. And then around that age, my dad started really helping me and he was like, you know, if you're going to play, you got to take it serious. And he was kind of the one that really t taught me the game at an early age. So I would say probably around 10 or 11 years old. Awesome. What, uh, I guess, uh, what, what is your, your dad's background and was he a basketball player or was, uh, or any type of an athlete or how, how, did, I guess, how did that, he encourage you with basketball? Uh, my dad, my dad played in high school. Uh, he wasn't, I mean, he, he got in, he was injured a lot in high school, but you know, he's always someone that I was around the game and watched the game and he, he's pretty good. He, he actually got a lot better when he was in college, when he wasn't even playing, you know, in college or anything like that. But uh, 
I give all the credit in the world to my dad because, you know, he was the one that, you know, taught me, you know, I can't just be going to the park just playing. I actually got to work on my game. And he's the one I give all the credit to for my jump shot because he would have me go like my, I think it was like summer of my fifth grade year going into sixth grade. He had me go to the, um, the whole summer. I wasn't allowed to play any games. He just had me go to the park and I just had to shoot like form shots all day. That's the only thing I was allowed to do. I wasn't allowed to leave the paint, just form shots, form shots. And, you know, Without my dad, I would definitely wouldn't have, have have the jump shot I have today. What what age did you say that was where he wouldn't let you uh, play like games? Ten, like ten, I think ten or eleven. Okay. Okay. Oops. Okay. Awesome. Sorry, I got I getting a call at the same time. Um, okay, that's what uh, I guess. What um, I know, you were born in in Spain. What what age did you come to U.S. Or come so to New York? Spain. I didn't live there for too long. I probably was there like a month or two. And then I okay. actually, I lived in Houston for like my first six years. And then when I was like six, I moved to New York. Age six. Awesome. What, uh, I know your brother is quarterback at Houston. Um, uh, a little competition there. Who's the better athlete? You know, we always... We always would compete about it. We don't do it as much no more. But when we was younger, we would always be like, nah, I'm a better athlete than you. And he always would think, you know, football is a little harder. If you don't play football, you're not going to go to a football player and be like, yo, I'm better than you in football. But he would always come to me, like, I'll cook you in basketball, stuff like that. But now he knows, like, it's not even, not even a question no more. So we don't do it as much. But definitely if we're in the weight room or something, we might talk about who lifts heavier and stuff like that. That's awesome. Any other questions before we let Ish go? Okay. Ish, I appreciate you uh, getting on here after class. I know it's been a busy morning, so I appreciate your time and get working through these uh, technical difficulties, but uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you this year. No, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having me. Thanks, Ish. You have a good rest of the day. You too. Guys.